I'm Jonathan Robinson and this is Fret Buzz. Welcome back to Fret Buzz. Thanks for tuning in again. Let's jump right into today's videos. I think I've got a pretty good mix today of some smaller channels that you probably haven't heard of and maybe some you probably almost certainly have, but videos that you should not miss from them. So number one, definitely a smaller channel. One of my friends from Instagram, uh, he and I just became friends on Instagram. He's actually in Hamburg, Germany, I do believe. Uh, and it's Rude Mood Dude Hamburg. Um, I love his Instagram channel, by the way. I know this is about YouTube stuff. He does a really cool thing on Instagram where he puts up pictures of guitars. They're generally, you know, sort of relict, uh, road worn, whatever you want to call it. And then he puts custom shop or vintage. And then people in the comments, they vote. Do they think it's custom shop or vintage? Then after a few days, he lets you know. Really cool. There's been some tricky ones on there. Um, and it's just fun. And even if you know everyone or you're like, I can always tell, they're awesome pictures of guitars. He puts up other stuff too. He's also a great player, honestly. Um, but that's how I came across him. That's how he and I began, began chatting. Um, but so this is his YouTube channel. It's just getting started, hadn't been out too awful long. Not a ton of subscribers at all. So if you dig his stuff, please subscribe. I think he deserves it. Uh, this one is the Telecaster, five reasons to buy. Talks about why buy a Telecaster. I don't think you even need reasons. Telecasters are amazing, but he's got some good ones. Um, in my book, he could have stopped with number one, but you guys go watch it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, so Rude Mood Dude in Hamburg, five reasons to buy a Telecaster. As always, the links are in the description. Now, video number two, this is a big channel, Premier Guitar. You are probably subscribed to Premier Guitar, or maybe like me, you have tuned out from Premier Guitar. I, you know, sometimes on the bigger channels, I sort of, after a while, it's not that I, they're not good anymore, but sometimes I'm just looking for new things. I'm not paying as much attention, and I miss cool stuff. Premier Guitar has been doing a series called Hooked. It's guitar players that we know and love, and they're talking about songs and hooks that, that meant a lot to them, whether it's a riff, song, or whatever, why they love it, why it helped them get into playing guitar. Uh, this series, Samantha Fish, if you don't know Samantha Fish, she's a great player, plays a lot of blues stuff, awesome slide player, a lot of the like cigar uh, box guitar things. So she's fantastic, and she's talking about Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. She's going through the song American Girl and talking about how that got her into guitar. She plays through the song. Uh, she talks about why the song's awesome. The layered guitar parts kind of shows you how to play it. Not really. It's not really about that. It's just more about why that song impacted her so much. Uh, and it's, it's pretty darn cool. Um, so yeah, so check that out. Samantha Fish on Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, American Girl on Premier Guitar. Uh, number four, I thought this, well, actually number three, I think I'm getting, getting ahead of myself here. Number three, um, this was a really good video. It resonated with me because I teach a lot of guitar. Um, so I have a lot of in-person private, private lessons. I've been doing that for a long time. I think I first started in the early 2000s, like 2002, 2000, maybe, gosh, maybe even before that, maybe 2001. But anyways, I, I've done it on and off again for a long time. Um, and, and, and this video, it's The Art of Guitar, another big channel. I think he's a great channel. Good teacher, good content. Uh, and this, is, this video is called My Guitar Students in 1997 versus 2021 uh, and how it got so bad. Um, it's not quite as bleak as the title makes it out to be, but things have definitely changed. I cannot tell you how often I get students now who come in and I say, hey, what's your favorite song? Oh, you know, I, I, I don't know. What's your favorite band? Like, do you listen to music? Well, you know, I don't really listen to music. People listen to music so differently these days on the whole. Obviously, there are exceptions and, and you know, these are broad sweeping statements. Um, but I, I see a trend and see the trend that he's talking about where there just seems to be people who are just, just more in love with the music and the bands they wanted to learn about when they came into lessons than now. And I think a lot of that is technology and it's streaming and it's YouTube and it's all sorts of things. Um, and I just think it's a really cool discussion. So we'd love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Uh, in the comments, even if you don't teach guitar, I think you'll probably find there's some really interesting uh, 
points and things for us to think about. And it even made me think about how I consume music and you know what I'm in love with as far as music and you know just just how I think about music in general now versus then. So the art of guitar, my guitar students in '97 versus 2021 and how it got so bad. Really, really, really cool video. Uh, Another one, another big channel, but maybe one that you do not listen to if you're just focused on guitar things and guitar lessons. This is Signals Music Studio. So all of the content is not necessarily guitar related, but it does relate to recording music and home recording and all those things. Uh, that stuff is so accessible these days. It's so easy you know, to get an interface and have a DAW, whether it's GarageBand or, or Reaper or Pro Tools or whatever, Studio One, whatever. Um, that stuff is so... You know, it's obtainable now where, where, you know, years ago it was harder to get into recording at home, but now it's fairly easy, it's fairly inexpensive. And if you're like me, uh, sometimes you do it and you realize how bad you are at it. Uh, that is definitely my experience. It's hard and it takes some work to figure out how to get good sounds onto your computer. You know, it's, it's one thing to have it sounding great in the room, it's another thing to capture that. Uh, so there are some really cool things on this channel like that in that realm. Uh, but this is about why electric and acoustic guitars get double tracked and why you cannot just copy and paste them. That's the name of the video. So he's talking about getting double tracked guitar sounds, why it's different to actually play it twice and, and pan it left and right as opposed to just playing a track in mono putting a new track up, hitting copy, putting it there, and then splitting it. Really cool stuff, really interesting, some great uh, sound clips. Uh, if you listen to it on decent speakers or headphones, you will, you will, you will pretty much hear the difference. And I thought that was a lot of fun. So check that out, Signals Music Studio, why electric and acoustic guitars get double tracked and why you can't just copy and paste them. Uh, last video for Fret Buzz is from Fret Jam. Uh, I think I've talked about them before, but honestly, I don't remember. There's so many teaching channels like this, uh, so many good ones. Uh, but I just thought this video was cool. I almost didn't include it because it's a little dry. You know, it, it moves kind of quickly. So um, if you're not into triads and you don't know much about triads and inversions, you might need to watch some of his previous videos or go watch some other videos on those subjects, then come back and tackle this one. But this one's called Harmonizing Melody using the 1, 4, and 5 in any key and mode. Uh, so it's, it's talking about how to take your triads and, and chord shapes and actually harmonize a melody with chords to play chord melody type things. That's really cool. If you're anything like me, that was a really mysterious seemingly impossible topic for a long time. So I love things like this. I'm always interested in other people's approach to it and how they do it. Uh, this is a pretty darn good one. Like I say, if, if you're at a certain point with this, this is a great video. If not, it may not be for you, but maybe it leads you down a rabbit hole and you go back to the beginning and you learn some really cool new things. So Fret Jam, harmonizing the melody using the one, four, and five in any key and mode. Really cool chord melody stuff. Uh, check that out. There's five videos. I hope you guys dig them. I'm also going to include, uh, I put out a slide lesson for standard tuning on my channel this past week. If you're into slide at all, you maybe don't want to play in open tuning, or maybe you play in open tuning, but you'd like to get better in standard tuning, put out a video. It's a long one. It is 37 minutes long. I'm going to put the link down. I have been so slack lately about putting out my own backing tracks, but I will try to remember to mix this one down so that you guys can jam over it. Uh, and I'm also putting out a new single on YouTube. It's not on Spotify and stuff yet. I'm going to put it out on YouTube first, just like I did the last one. Um, I think we did even better with the, with the mix and stuff on this one. Pretty excited about it. Gonna put a link to that too. And it is a very slide heavy song. So it seems like the two things go together. So both of those will be up there. Um, so yeah, so if you dig that, go check them out on my channel. Go subscribe if, if you are so inclined. Uh, and I appreciate it. I appreciate all, all you guys who have already gone over and subscribed to me. Um, that's, that's pretty awesome. So there's your videos this week for the Fret Buzz. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe on this channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell so you don't miss videos in the future. We're making a ton of videos lately. Almost every day there's a new one. Baxter and I chatting about some, some ridiculous topic or gear demos or whatever. So, so do that. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. As always, I will see you next week on the Fret Buzz.